First, let's go over the Vacurect itself. You'll notice it does have a super simple design with a main chamber of 22 centimeters long, definitely long enough for majority of men. It has a chamber opening of 4.5 centimeters, again, enough for majority of men. Now the chamber has an outer cylindrical sleeve that when action slides up and down, pulling the air out of the chamber, given there is a good seal at the base and the shaft of the penis. Now this negative pressure will then cause a response within the corpus cavernosum of the penis, pulling blood into those two main chambers and thus causing an erection. Now, all penis pumps work on a very similar principle. However, the action of each pump may be just a little bit different. One may have a ball pump, another may have a handheld trigger, another may be even be hydraulic based that is also water based, or even an electric pump and so on. Whatever it is, it is all essentially the same thing. Now, here comes the absolute most imperative step, the restriction ring. Without this, if you're someone that actually suffers with erectile dysfunction, well, you can kiss that erection goodbye as soon as you remove the pump. Now, the greatest thing about the Vacurect, on the other hand, and one thing I must point out that makes this pump different from the rest, is actually the density of the rings. Now, the different sizes of rings and the way they work perfectly with the pump to actually achieve and maintain erection is absolutely amazing. Now this is so important. Now although you could use a generic ring made of softer silicon that's a lot stretchier, it's not the same. You must understand most rings are actually made in the hundreds of thousands if not millions. So a generic size that's stretchy enough to fit most men will be based on obviously saving expenses and increasing profits for the business that is actually selling them. Now the difference with this pump and these rings is that you actually have a choice of 10 different sizes, all of which they are dense, super high quality, also making them super comfy. Now most other pumps, you have to stretch the ring over the pump, pump up, and as you're removing the pump from your penis, you have to quickly try to slide the ring on, perfectly land at the base of your penis, which can be a little fiddly. And while you're in the process of trying to do that, you might even lose some hardness that you gained in the pump. Now with the Vacurect, this is not the case. You should be able to actually keep most of what you achieve while you're actually using it and the hardness you gain in the pump. In order to find the right ring size, a little bit of trial and error may be needed. However, I'll get around to helping you with that as well. Now the thing is, these rings are so dense, they have minimal stretch, causing an adequate amount of restriction around the veins of the penis, limiting the blood from exiting. That's essentially the key here. Now the ring sizes range from 15 millimeters all the way to 30 millimeters. Now, personally, at an erect base girth of over six inches, I was a little worried about trying this out for the first time because to me, they seemed a little bit small. However, the quality and the design of the rings with enough surface area on the inner face actually made them super comfortable and a lot easier to put on and remove than I imagined they would be. Not to mention the ability to maintain the erection and even work with the formed erection to work on things like Kegels and other exercises to help better hardness for the future. Now, as for size constraints, now having personally used the Vacurect, I'd say anyone under eight inches in erect length and six inches in erect base girth will be fine to use this pump.